Hey guys, how's it going? So today we're going to be feeding the tortoises, interacting with them. Um, I do have a few updates on the enclosures here. So today I was busy building this new enclosure for the younger redfoot and the younger cherryhead. They're eating spring mix, uh, yellow squash, gooseberries, as well as a little bit of banana. They also have three uh, hibiscus bushes to feed off of, as well as a few patches of grass in here as well. Now, I will be replacing this saucer here with a actual concrete pond in this little divot here. Now, although this enclosure is technically inside the African sulcata enclosure, I do plan on making uh, Tess a much larger new enclosure. He's able to mow this stuff down pretty well, so I think that means that he needs a bit more space. I will probably open this up to the Burmese stars once they're of age. So far, Tess seems pretty content here, but uh, he's not done growing yet, believe it or not. Uh, he's probably only about halfway there. These guys can reach uh, 150, even 200 pounds. So these guys are huge tortoises, uh, third largest tortoise in the world, actually. So we have a head of romaine for Tess today, as well as some yellow squash. Tortoises can see color, which is why Tess is absolutely captivated by this yellow squash. And if you'll see, he'll actually follow me around for it. While he finishes that, we're going to check out the other tortoises. Now in the new enclosure here, we have the red foot and the cherry head. Very young guys. Here is the cherry head tortoise. These guys are doing really well. Nice weight on them. Very active. These guys were initially grown indoors. They are a bit more active being outdoors, absorbing that natural sunlight. And no light you buy at the store is gonna beat the sun. So let's pick a hibiscus flower and let's check out the redfoots. Now, obviously these guys have been quite busy. Um, I have not seen any egg laying behavior, at least at this time. Uh, we have some collard greens here in case you're wondering what this is. Great food to feed for them. We do have a brand new sprinkler here as well. So it's gonna be watering all the banana trees and the grass here. Um, it's also gonna be filling up their pond on a daily basis. This way I don't have to wake up super early in the morning before work and um, water these guys and make sure their bowls are filled. Uh, it makes it a lot easier because I do have a nine to five job as a veterinary technician. So obviously time management is important. 